Hi there, and welcome to Community Matters. I'm your host, Gabriel Riviere-Reed, in for Amanda Marini Road while she's away. There's an exciting new program that will be available for vulnerable women to tap into coming up. And with me today to talk about it is Sylvie Paquette. Welcome to the show, Sylvie. Thank you for having me. All right, so the Tapped In program, why don't you tell me a little bit about that and what it involves? Sure, it's actually the Tapping In project. Um, it's a project that's produced by Cosroots Community Empowerment Projects, which is a nonprofit, a regional nonprofit here based in SDNG. And what this nonprofit does is promote or produce projects that are going to include the community, that are going to help things grow. So we're focused around the agri-food industry. That's what we're we're mainly passionate about, and we sponsor or promote pro programs that are going to empower communities around agri-food. So this particular program, the Tapping In program, actually started from the maple syrup industry. So we went to some talks about the maple syrup industry. We learned a little bit about it, about how in Ontario it's different from in Quebec. So in Quebec there's a marketing board, in Ontario there isn't. So you're allowed to actually have your own maple syrup and market it yourself, which is really neat in its niche. And in Ontario, actually, there's a lot of untapped resources uh, in the maple industry. So we're, we have way more maple trees than we're actually using to produce maple syrup. So that got us to start thinking about how we could make a project around that using regions, using woodlots, using farmers. Lots of farmers have a woodlot that have maples and that they're not using. And we thought, how can we incorporate that into a program that could then help the community? So that got us thinking about empowering women and vulnerable women and we thought you know it's so beautiful out in the woods and nature how healing it is how amazing it is how empowering it is to learn about your food and how it's produced and what goes into it and we thought this would be the perfect environment to work with some of the region's local groups that work with vulnerable women so that might be whatever different programs there might be it might be shelters and might be other programs that are already currently doing this important work with these women in the community and then we would bring them out to be part of this program. And let's talk a little bit more about how this program will work for, for the women and what they'll experience. Sure, so it can vary. So keep in mind, this is a pilot project. It is our first year. We've had lots of interesting challenges and things come up and it's, it's been amazing and interesting. So one of the ways might be to come out and actually tap the trees, so learn how to tap trees. We've had amazing community input and uh, we have mentors who are already been people people who have been producing maple syrup forever and know the ins and outs of it have offered to help us with their resources and their knowledge so it might be being trained in actually tapping trees it might be coming to to evaporate to work on that it might be just having some time out in the forest away from whatever it is in their regular lives to learn a little bit more about the business so we're hoping that we can ignite a bit of a fire in some of these women around agri-food and maybe who knows it might might turn into partnership with a farmer down the line excellent and you've tied this in with the canada 150 tell me about that yes we have well because our launch year also coincides with the canada 150 we thought what a perfect way i mean maple syrup is the quintessential canadian tradition and we thought what a perfect way to tie it all in so we've actually got the canada 150 on our buckets here it's going to be on our syrup once it's produced we are actually selling these these stickers as part of a fundraiser for this this project and for where it's going going to go to and actually a portion of the proceeds from every maple syrup that we then sell is going to go back into the project and is going to help fund other work for these vulnerable women excellent and just talk to me a little bit about uh the 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 focus on again the local agriculture i know that's that's been something that you've worked hard and brenda from cause roots so just talk to me a little bit about absolutely, that absolutely i'd love to yes well um this all comes from the local food that's what we're really passionate about and wanting to empower the community surrounding agri-food so Cosroots community empowerment projects started off with the garlic festival the eastern ontario garlic festival is our flagship event it's going to be our third year this year and and that's been a way for the community to focus on what is grown and produced here in the community locally in SDNG and Cornwall. So what is grown here, what is created here, it might be artwork, it might be veggies, it might be garlic. We have had participation from the community. People just want to jump on board with their own ideas and their own programs that we can then send our resources and help with 
or they want to become part of the board and help or I mean I, for the planning community of the garlic festival that's gone off into its own thing that we started it we spearheaded it and we empowering the community to do it so one of the things I wanted to show you was this little little garlic bulb jewelry that we have here that was actually created oh, awesome. by by one of our artists and then pommier jewelers are actually going to, are making these charms and this is part of the sustainable fundraising that we want to do for our organization and and this this also speaks to the part of people bring what resources they have to the project so maybe you don't have money but maybe you have time maybe you have other resources that you would like to put into the projects and that's what we're passionate about promoting absolutely well this is all such a great example of community coming together the best of it i want to thank you again for joining me and best of luck with uh, with your endeavors thanks very much for having me